Alright, this is going to be the tutorial on how to um, change your uh, color portrait into black and white and how to adjust the brightness and the contrast to make the, um, the shading the values a lot easier in um, Illustrator. So in order to do that, first you have your, um, you know, your Illustrator file. Uh, the way it should be set up is you should have an image for just the layer and that layer should be locked so you can't really make any changes to that layer. And um, you know you're gonna have your outline as your layer. All right, but I'm not I'm not gonna work on an outline. Um, you know, in theory, when you're laying down the values, you don't really need the outlines. But the reason why we did the outlines is just in case um, if the values don't look correct or they're not working. Um, you know, you at least you can fall back on the outlines of your drawing. So. Um, and it was also good practice for Illustrator. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to minimize the um, Illustrator file. I just hit that yellow button, minimize it. And um, I want you to go back and find your original image that you used to upload on the Illustrator. So I'm going to click on my folder, upload the image. And this time I'm going to upload it onto Photoshop. So you're just going to click and drag it onto Photoshop. It's going to be one that says PS. Yeah, we're just going to wait for Photoshop to load up. Alright, so now it's loaded up in Photoshop. This, so this is where we're going to change your image into black and white. Um, so those of you that had me in photography class, um, I think there's only two people in the class. Uh, you know, the way we changed the black and white was we used the adjustments panel to change your colors and then the black and white, the, the brightness and the contrast and the um, black and white. Now, uh, for this particular assignment, though, you don't want to use this adjustment panel. So you can just close that adjustments panel. or Yeah, you can just close that. You don't need it for this one. Um, so the way you're going to do your um, adjustments is you're going to go to image on the very top. Oh, let me move this out of the way. You move this image on top, and you go to your adjustments, and you go to um, black and white first. So this is going to turn your image instantly into black and white. And you know, don't mess around with these values. You can just click OK, and that's going to turn your image into black and white. Now, the reason why we're using the adjustments panel up here, as opposed to the um, you know the one in the Windows, is because um, every time you do adjustments with the um, adjustments panel, it creates a, a new layer to. Um, you know, change that effect. Uh, we still want to keep the um, image on one layer because when we save this image, then we want to save it directly as a JPEG. But um, if you add more layers, it's going to automatically save as a Photoshop file. Um, you know, this is going to make more sense when we move on to the Photoshop part of the class. So, you know, don't worry about it. Just make sure you're using the image and adjustments. So after you've changed the black and white, you're going to go to um, adjustments and brightness and contrast and with brightness and contrast you can click on auto I think auto will work pretty good with your picture it's going to um, you know bring up the contrast that more so basically you're just doing the brightness and contrast to the point where uh, you know you can determine where your white whites are and then where your um, your shadows are so I'm actually the auto didn't work out too well for me but you want to make sure that you know you can determine where your white whites are, where your light grays are, and then where your dark areas are. All right, so you want to just try your best and you know get as many values as possible. It does help out to bring the contrast up. That's going to make it a little bit easier to see the shadows, and then the brightness will you know the more you raise up the uh, more shadows you lose. So you kind of just play around with this until you find something that you like. I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to click OK. And um, all right, so I think this is pretty good to work for my image. But you can always change the brightness and the contrast throughout your drawing. So you're going to go to File, then Save, File, Save, and just make sure to save it as the larger file and click OK. And it should automatically save your work. Or it's just save your work. So you gotta minimize this. You don't want to close it because you might need to make some changes later to it. But once I go back to here, oh hold on, let me go back to my other image. No, this is not. Oh, let me go back here. So file save. 
I should change that image. Maybe I need to reopen this again. Oh, you know, I need to save this. Alright, in some cases it may not work. Like, for some reason it's not working on my picture. But you'll get like a message that pops up that says, um, I mean, I need to save this first. So let me do file, save as. I'm going to title this my portrait. That's like this portrait run. Let me reopen this again. Click OK. Let me close this. But you should have like a window that pops up telling do you want to make these changes to your picture. Yeah, it's not working. So I would just click and drag that new image that you made and that you saved. And just overlap the image that you used that you currently used. So I'm just gonna hold shift, drag, and just you know let it take over that image. So you don't even need the other image. Um, you can delete that image. And this image, you can, um, yeah, to move things from one layer to the other, you, you can do Command C, Command X to um, cut it out, and then Command V to paste. All right, so that's the usually ways you can move the different layers. So now I have my black and white image to um, work on my, uh, you know, coloring the vectors.